<coughs> hey guys, right, okay. In today's value video, I want to talk about how you can substitute the scales for different metrics to helping you understand the results you're trying to achieve. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about mindset and exercising and how can you can use the two to work together. Now, within a weight loss journey, I always encourage people to get rid of the scales and stop using the scales as um, their, their source of measuring progress. And the reason being, when you go through a weight loss journey, so you start up here, if you're doing the right thing, you're gonna lose weight. But uh, if you're doing the right thing, you put a bit of weight back on and then you lose a bit of weight and then you put a bit of weight back on. You lose a bit of weight and you put a bit of weight back on. And that cycle continues. And the reason why it does it, when you lose weight, you're losing fat from your body. But when you put weight back on, and if you're doing it right, it's because you're putting more muscle onto your body, therefore muscle's more dense than fat, your body's shrinking, your size shrinking, but the scales might go up. And what happens when people go through a weight loss journey, when they lose weight, and they, they can see they're losing weight, it makes them feel happy, it makes them feel good, it feels like they're doing the right things. So they continue doing the stuff that is working. But as soon as they stand on the scales and the scales are heavier than the last time they was on them, it disheartens them and it kind of puts them off track. And then they start, a lot of people tend to um, sabotage their weight loss journey by doing things like starving themselves, skipping meals and not eating all day long or things like that. And the reason why they do it uh, is because they want the, the scales to go down. But when they do that, they're not, they stop them uh, like feeding your body with the nutrition it needs and if your body doesn't get enough nutrition it doesn't function as well as it can so therefore um, it don't function to its best abilities to help it lose weight so you need all that stuff inside you so the first thing you need to do is get rid of the scales and you need to remove them completely out of your house because if they're in your house it's too tempting to be able to stand on the scales even if you remove the batteries you end up putting them back in if you don't remove the scales it's like <coughs> putting a chocolate cake on the table and telling kids not to eat it and leaving a room. Sooner or later, that kid is going to go over and eat that chocolate cake. So remove the scales. But the next thing you do, the way you can substitute it, so I always encourage people to do challenges. Um, and the reason why you should do challenges, it then diverts your attention to taking your focus away from weight loss and achieving something bigger and better to help you achieve a lifestyle change. And so when you're focused on a challenge, say your challenge is a 5k uh run within six weeks time then what you do you measure your progress your fitness progress so one way you could do it is you can download strava um which is an application which measures how far you run and how fast you run um, and you could do this all sorts of things. if it's swimming you could do it with swimming <coughs> if you're doing you know any kind of challenge it, it, it applies to it so what you do you when you first start your fitness journey, you go out and do your, it might not be 5K, but you might um, be exercising for one hour. And within that one hour, you record how far you go within that one hour and how fast, it, how fast you are and how far you go. And then what you do, all you're trying to do is beat it by a second or two seconds. Anything more is a bonus. So each time you go out and train, you try and beat it by a second or two seconds. And if you beat it by a second or two seconds, then you've done better than the, the time before. And if you keep doing that week after week after week after week, within six weeks, you might be 10 minutes better than when you first start. And then you can focus on those results. And by doing that, if you try and get faster, fitter and healthier, it doesn't have to be faster, but just fitter within your fitness journey, then everything else will follow. Your weight loss will follow. Your 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 body will be getting into better shape as long as you do the right nutrition. So substitute the scales for fitness levels metrics. Um, if it's not, car so I talked about a cardio based one or endurance based, which is a five k. Another one could be a strength one. So if you like going into the gym, then all you do you try and lift slightly heavier than the week before so say if you lift 20 grams or sorry 20 kilograms one week of a particular workout then you try and lift 20.1 kilograms or 20.2.5 kilograms the week afterwards and if you do that even though it's by a very 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 small number but if you keep doing that week after week after week after week within 10 weeks you're 10 or you're 20 grams heavier 
or 20 grams, 20 kilograms heavier um, than 10 weeks before. So slow progression. But if you do it like that and you pair it with the right nutrition, then everything else will follow and completely get rid of the scales. And this way, it will help with your mind. It will help you stay focused. You'll be, you'll know how you when you're improving, how you're improving, because you're going to see the metrics of the needle move. And you don't have to worry on what about the one that is actually the wrong thing to focus on. So focus on fitness level metrics. Don't focus on the scales metric. If that helps, let me know. Comment below. I'd love to know what you uh, think about that. And apart from that, have a wicked day and smash your goals.